Alabam. First and foremost, you want to give our praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone every well. Citation to your sincere Akim. In the four corners of earth, preaching in sincerity and in truth. In the true names of a power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kodash. This is the brother uh, Mashak from the GMS guy in the camp. Uh, brother Yawasab. All right, and we're going to do a, a breakdown on uh, what's going on here in Guyana concerning the vaccine. Yeah. You know, um, the government is setting up uh, basically facilities where there are <laughs> the population. Yeah. All right. And it's, uh, you know, gradualism yeah. until they, they fully, uh, Esau makes the move to make it mandatory in the four corners of the earth. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. So, um. My woman was in the uh, was in was in in town, and you know she was checking out some stuff for her personal stuff, and she saw that Monishwars, which is a Elamite or a Persian establishment, right? And they normally sell it's like a variety store. They sell stuff, stuff household stuff, and so they sell food and stuff like that, right? But um, what she saw was that they were doing, they were issuing the Sputnik vaccination right the Sputnik vaccination and I believe that's from Russia right yeah that's right that's from Russia and um, the, the the government or the princes on this side here would have connection or ties to Russia right so you're thinking that they these people are using their 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 establishment as a place so to, to what to gain more customers by issuing issuing the vaccine that's because right. they want this place to continue yeah, you know? They're all up for the digital currency. Okay. Yeah, right? Yeah, precept. Yeah. It says uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It says, Lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, we're not ignorant of uh, Esau's devices. Mm -hmm. yeah, that Satan is referring to the physical counterpart, which is Esau Edom, the what so called white man. Yeah, okay. we know that uh, the scripture says uh, in 2 Edges 6 and verse 7, now we're done. Yeah. All right? Says, what shall be the part in the son of times? Okay. Yeah. Second address? Yeah, six and four seven. Yeah. yeah, second address chapter six verse seven says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the time? Mm -hmm. Or when shall the end of the first mm -hmm. and the beginning of it that followeth? Mm -hmm. Continue. Verse 8. What's going to be the sign of these prophecies? Mm -hmm. All right. That's what Edrius is asking the, uh, the angel. All right. And he said unto me, From Jacob unto Isaac, when mm -hmm. Jacob and Esau were born of him, mm -hmm. Jacob's hand first held, held the heel of Esau. Right. Now, Jacob represented 12 tribes of Israel, right? Which also goes back to our forefather, Jacob. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Hispanics, and the scattered Israelite foreigners that look like the heathens, all right? Right, they go back to the legion of forbearance, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. All right, yeah, continue. Yeah, verse, verse 9 says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right, he said Esau is the end of the world, all right? Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The end of the world is talking about rulership. Okay. All right, so... The scripture is actually telling you that in these last days that we're in, okay. there's going to be a certain nation that's going to be ruling and it's going to be their end. Okay. All right? Uh, give me uh, Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. Start at 3. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 3. It says, And I hated Esau and laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right, the Lord said he hated Esau. All right. Continue. Verse 4. Right. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, mm -hmm. we will return and right. build the desolate places. Right. Thus so, saith the Yahweh of hosts. Right, they said they will return and build the desolate places, but the Lord said, well, he's going to tear it down. You know, when they came back in, um, after the thousand years that they were uh, bound, you know, they came back in rulership. All right, what uh, what they did, they came back to deceive the earth again. All right, with their lies and philosophies and doctrine, even um, being in um, a wicked uh, nation, they decided that they was gonna say that they are the heavenly father and his son, okay. and the angels by being a what 
uh, anti soka anti Christ, which is against uh, Mashiach, the anointed. Yeah. All right. It says. Um, it says they shall build and I will throw down. They shall call them, and they shall call them and the the board of wickedness. Right. They say they shall call on the board of wickedness. That's why the scripture tells you in Job nine and twenty four that the earth is given into their hands, the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. All right. The Rockchilds, the Dupons, the Gettys, the Bilderbergers, the Morgans, mm -hmm. the JPs, all these are the elite families of the Edomites that run the world in wickedness as you see today. God. And they're fulfilling, all right, that, that scripture in Revelation 13 and verse 16 which says, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Mm -hmm. All right, that mark is going by what? To the microchip, the mark of the beast, all right, which these Maxines would eventually lead to it. All right. It says, and the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. All right, that's the nation the most I have indignation forever, the Edomites. Okay. All right. Yeah, jump back to um, Second Ezra. Yeah. Um. No. Go. Um. Jump to um, Revelation three and ten. Then we continue. Revelation chapter three verse ten. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, mm -hmm. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. the mm most -hmm. yeah. The most I can keep us from the hour of temptation. And this is just a precursor of the hour of temptation. Right now they're, they're, they're trying to see who can take this vaccine, who can be rebellious. Maxine. Yeah, Maxine. Mm -hmm. You see, we can't even say it on certain, um, on this platform. Mm -hmm. Because they're quick to pull it down. Saying that it's false medi medical medical stuff and so forth, saying it's conspiracy. This it's a, this is a conspiracy, a conspiracy theory, Slacky. Yeah. It's a conspiracy theory, but it is a conspiracy flat because a theory is something has that has not been proven, right? But we we've proven time and time again that this is this man's agenda. You know, right. and the scripture said that he can come deceiving you. He's not going to force nobody to take to take um. To take the microchip he's going to deceive many he's going to tell you that this microchip could do this it can benefit you in this way and so forth he's and gonna, eventually it's going to come to that because mm -hmm. here's what's going to happen revelation 12 and 12. Mm -hmm. and he will come with great wrath mm -hmm. because what who is going to come great wrath against yeah. the elect all right he's going to try to come against great wrath against the elect because yeah. the elect all right is not going to take the mark can. They're not going to get the mark even if they hold us captive in concentration camps, the torches and so forth. Right. Or they even push it in your hand because if they push it in your hand, the proof is that he is not an elect. Right. You know? Right. The elect ain't going to suffer no, no, um, they're not going to receive of no microchip. Yeah, right? because, not, yeah, okay. yeah, that would be a blemish if you, if, if the Most High allow Esau to push your microchip. Because the scripture says, touched on the Lord's anointing, right? Yeah. The Lord ain't going to know that. Right. Yeah. And because it's all prophesied by, by the Most High that the elect. All right, will not uh, they will not receive the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Revelation twenty and four. There are few mm -hmm. that's going to be more to see how about Shemi mm -hmm. But nevertheless, the Lord, all right, those that die as mortals at the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, okay. they're going to be the first to be risen to immortality, as the scripture said. Mm -hmm. All right, can we get that precept? Mm -hmm. All right, so. All people, you know, they're willingly going to receive this mark. You know, they're accepting it. You know, a lot of family members also, you know, they they are uh, they going ahead with it. And the entertainers down here, they're pushing it every day in the ears of the people, man. Yep, yep. They're holding parties and all kind of stuff to get Maxine down here out too. All right? Free giveaways and handouts too. All right? And that's the show. Right, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Revelation 16 11 says, and white robes were given unto. Let me go up a little. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Revelation 6 and 9 says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. Mm -hmm. Says, verse 10, and they, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Yahweh, holy and true? Does thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Mm -hmm. And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants 
also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled all right so they got brothers right now in the, up in the heavens with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in white robes waiting on us you know right. praying praying for us and asking how long you can avenge you know they all right there's, there's, there's them hastening it also the um the kingdom Damn. all right that asking the Lord to, to to speed up and bring the kingdom to so that the uh, we can possess the kingdom forever in righteousness. That's right. All right. Mm -hmm. And to avenge the blood of the uh, of the elect, the saints. Okay. All right. Now we're heading back to uh, the Manishwar. A little bit more info on it. Yeah, we can play a little piece of the clip because I want them to hear this. Eh? This is this is the, the mockery and the blasphemy, right? <laughs> that take this mark and the Lord gonna destroy y'all he's not gonna have mercy for you that's like you saying to Esau Edom all right that you want him to be a, a God over you mm. you want him to rule over you all right you know. yeah this second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 7 says for the mystery of iniquity doth already work second Thessalonians yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I just go up over it yeah. it said for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who will let will let until he be taken out of the way mm -hmm. so the most high allowing Esau to do this so that you, so that we can know who's the most high chosen that's what the scripture says and then we shall know who's the most high chosen mm -hmm. it says for the time has come for the true worship of the Hawel by Hashem Yahushai to be revealed roughly paraphrasing right two precepts it says verse 8 and then shall that wicked be revealed now we just read it in Malachi chapter 1 verse 1 to 4 mm -hmm. we read it in us um in Job chapter 9 and 24. Mm -hmm. Who is the wicked? All right. Okay. Whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of his mouth represents the prophets. Yep. The scripture tells you Amos 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, will do nothing but he reveal his secrets, mm -hmm. which are these prophecies, unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah, also Baruch. Right. Baruch, uh, Baruch chapter 1 says that, um, mm -hmm. that we are the prophets, we are the mouth. Piece right. of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? That's right. It says, um, Whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy them with the brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing, we um we consuming them, all right? Mm -hmm. Until Yahweh shall come with the brightness. Yep. Verse 9 says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, mm -hmm. with, with all power and signs and lying wonders. And all power, signs and lying wonders. They're going back to his technology. Yep. All right, continue on. It says, and with all deceivableness, and all deceivableness that mm -hmm. we just saying, mm -hmm. scripture saying, mm -hmm. all deceivableness of unrighteousness mm -hmm. in them that per in them that perish, mm -hmm. because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved. So who was them that perish? It's talking about you so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Indians that take this mark. Yep. All right, because they receive not the love of this truth. Yep. All right, continue. It says. Uh, And says, but because they received not the love of truth that they might be saved. They don't want to be saved. They believe they're saved down here. Right. But the Most High is going to judge this place real dread. You know, mm -hmm. verse 11 is like, and for this cause, and for this cause, Yahweh shall send strong delusions. Strong delusions because they believe that this, this, this uh, so-called uh, virus, all right, and taking the vaccine is the only way that they're going to be saved. Yeah. When the Lord said, don't take it, don't take the vaccine. Don't take the mark of the beast. All right, we have laws pertaining that we should not take these things. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It says that that they should believe a lie. Yeah, they believe the lie. So called white man. All right. That they're gonna so called return back to normal. All right. In a wicked society. Yeah. It says uh, verse twelve that they all might be damned who yeah. believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. He said that they all may be damned. Let's see where the damn is. Revelation 14 and 9. They got pleasure in unrighteousness mm -hmm. because they want the place, they were saying they want the place to go back to normal for what? Yeah. Continue, for Continue the wickedness. That's why the scripture said that we we seek for we look for a new heaven and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yeah. Uh Revelation 14 9. Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice If any man worship the beast and his image And receive his mark mm -hmm. on, on his forehead or his or in his hand The same, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh mm -hmm. Which is poured out without mixture Into the cup of his indignation And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone Is there no clear missiles? Okay. In the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah, the Lord is going to torment you, and the Lord is going to keep you until uh, He's ready to launch those missiles in World War III. Because the, uh, before World War III, the mark of the beast has to become mandatory. Okay. All right. Then the Lord is going to speed up the, uh, the destruction of Babylon, where they be destroyed by terminal nuclear fire. All right. Is it there going to do? Yeah, this What the Thessalonians? Yeah. Finish the. Um, Jump to um, Second Edges, fifteen and one. It says, uh, Second Edges, chapter fifteen, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh. I'll cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incred incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Hey, scripture said, don't let the incred incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Hey, two thirds of our people are in Esau Edom because there's come a point in time where they're going to say that the men of the Lord, all right, are a threat, are a problem. Yeah. All right, the scripture tell you that they, hey, the Lord can hide us when he's already, when he's ready to um, rip destruction upon this place. Okay. All right. Jump to second edge, just 16 and um, verse 7 to every day. 16, 69, 68. Yeah, second edge, chapter 16 and verse 68. 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is, is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, and feed you, being idle. Let's not stop here, boy. No traffic here to nothing. Am I? Fucking stinkingly black your word away. Is this damn Elam just sudden breaks nothing? No traffic yet or nothing, but yeah. This is second Ezra chapter 60 verse 68. It says, For behold, the burning wrath of the great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden on the foot that's mockery you know and reproach yeah, and, like, and this is for people that take the same the same maxine yeah you know so. the scripture said won't you that go down to egypt mm -hmm. let me get that how oh, you want me to continue this what? egypt is that, is that 30 and 20. i think so I'm gonna do this one though. Isaiah 13 1 it says, Woe on woe to the rebellious children, say to Yahweh that take it that take it counsel, but not for of me. Yeah, because these people listen to these politicians and these scientists and ain't doing none for the, no research for themselves. Because first thing first this vaccine can't come out your system. And that's exactly what they want. And they put a lot you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. Imagine you won't accept a drink from a stranger at the bar, but you can accept a drink from these strangers that, that you think might have your well-being. Why? Because you give them power? The scripture says, search out things for yourself. That's right. You know? It says, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, but but that they may add sin to sin. 
All right. The scripture said, um, let me get it in um, 2 Samuel 15. First Samuel. There's a wicked white version that motion in this place. Okay. You know? It says um First Samuel chapter 50 verse 23 says for rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft mm -hmm. and stubbornness is as the iniquity of idolatry. Yeah. Because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh. He have rejected thee from being king and this was talking to Saul and, he, and they, they're coming in the spirit of Saul they're coming in the spirit of Pharisees they're coming in the spirit of um, Korah and, and the other rebellious Israelites you know um, let me continue second edges second edges chapter 16 verse um, 17 says for for there shall be in every place and in the next cities great insurrection upon upon those that fear Yahweh yeah, yeah. and they shall be like mad men sparing none right, Esau's going to be like mad men even two thirds of our people all right that receive the mark as in the military all right Esau's going to control them basically Down. right sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear Yahweh all right. Yeah. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out their houses. They shall be, then shall be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold is tried in the fire. Yeah, the scripture said, then shall they know who are my chosen, because it said on uh, scripture saying in Revelation seven. All right, the angel saw those that came out of great tribulations. Yeah. All right, great trials. All right, the scripture tell you in um, Ecclesiastes two. All right, cool. Let's I'll take your time up. Huh? Oh, you see what's going on, is huh? These fuckers over here in these Elam places making sudden turns them and they ain't even stopping. This is the area, yeah. Yeah. We said Serac or uh, Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes. No, it's Serac to uh, keep it straight. Serac to it's a rock because he asked us to. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rock chapter 2 two and verse 4. It yeah. says, What service brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Mm -hmm. for, for gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gold is tried. The elect is going to be tried. Yeah. Right, the scripture tells you in Zechariah 13 and 8 that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. The song of two thirds of a nation the Lord gonna kill. Alright, but I will bring the third through the fire. Alright, the elect. Alright, but guess what? The Lord is gonna feed his prophets, their families, even friends of the prophets them. Alright, the Lord is gonna take care of them too. Can cause well, right. let me get this in uh Job. Is it Job? That's why the scripture says, he that endure to the end. This is not like a one-time thing. Um, you know, this is not like a one-time thing. You get baptized and you save like, like what these wicked ass people is, is teach. What's the precept that said the wicked store up for the righteous?
nice here, but it says the wicked are stored up for the uh, the wicked stored up for the righteous. But I'm gonna read this one. Eh? It says uh, this is Job chapter five verse twelve. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So they believe that their kingdom will continue forever, right? So the most I can destroy them with a sword destruction. Mm -hmm. You know? So Esau, the, Elam, the Elamites, the Moabites, the Gog and Magog, um, the, the Hagarites, the, Put, the Putites, yeah. the, the freaking Ethiopians. Yeah. I hate them so much, boy. I've got Jake so messed up in the head. You know? The rest of that Maki and Priest of Bird is it? Yes. Alright, so with that we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham Rakak Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, a citation to the hundred four four thousand men, the one third men and women children like to be saved. Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal, Abad Babal. Shalawa. Shalom.